Hello everyone, January 11th, Ksenia Mia Brigilovsky from 106th Montcalm, another video communication documenting the developments uh, in the past few years, of the past few years, and uh, uh, relating to my financial status, my employment status, and my overall status here in Canada. So, as I said, um, I am currently being forced out of the Bank of Nova Scotia for undisclosed reasons, all right? My accounts are being closed and I have applied to Simply Financial to open my uh, checking account, a savings account, and RRSP, and I've also applied for a credit card. So the credit card was denied. Um, at this point, my accounts, my RRSP and Lira account uh, that originated from previous employments, notably Profix software, are being transferred into TD, all right, uh, the bank, uh, the Toronto Dominion Bank. Um, at this point, I am experiencing fraudulent transactions on my credit card that I'm supposed to pay. Uh, so that I can actually close my credit card with the Bank of Nova Scotia. So I am documenting the kind of conditions I am being forced into uh, subsequent to my divorce from my former husband, Alexander Buchengold, to whom I was married for 10 years from uh, July of 2010 to 2020. Uh, having said that, I don't understand why I'm being treated like that. So I'm, I've completed my degree at uh, Queen's University in artificial intelligence, and then I was supposed to go and open my own business. Uh, so when I figured out that my doctors took advantage of me, that my lawyer, Makachion Family Law, took advantage of me, charging more than 10000 for simple divorce, that was... This was just an abuse of a vulnerable person. I was lured into Canada, then subsequently married off to Alexander Buchenwald, who at that time was a viable candidate for me because I have never dated anyone better than that. All right, I'm coming from Uzbekistan, from very underprivileged upbringing and background. Right, so I was lured into non-government organization, a Jewish non-government organization, where I worked as a, in a non-religious capacity. Okay, and after that, and given the background, the Jewish background of my family, I was uh, married successfully to Alexander Buchenwald. At that time, it was a viable candidate, and throughout the years. He proved to be an unviable candidate. I don't understand why it is that I, my health is suffering. I don't understand why it is that I'm being forced out of my bank. I don't understand why I'm being denied credit card. I'm being taken to a police station and uh, put into a psych ward. I don't understand what Canada has uh, in store for me. And if it has anything against me, it can ex extradite me to Russia. It can extradite me to Europe. It can extradite me to what, whichever country they want. They can fuck themselves, all right? I am very much capable of doing CPA, of doing sales, of doing marketing, of leading my own business. I can do all of that, but it is the government of Canada who is setting up people like me and reading them of any opportunity, all right? Drake Cole is supposed to be a salesperson and not a CTO. And I am not going to pay with my health and my money for fuckers like him to call himself a CTO, all right? I am not going to pay with my health to pay for Felix's months and Christian Shiloshi for their overpromoted employments while I'm being undermined from all ends? Why is that my credit is now suffering? Why is it that I'm being unemployed? Why is it that I'm being taken and molested behind closed doors by impersonator doctors, by impersonator mortgage advisors? Who are selling this property at one million dollars? <coughs> How is it that I am being attacked from all ends? That I don't have the funds and the connections to hire myself a normal lawyer because otherwise the government of Canada would be paying me millions for not disclosing health information. 
education, for luring me in, for employing me in get a jobs, for constantly undermining me in jobs, for denying normal healthcare services, for surveilling me, for sending impersonators to take advantage of me. And yes, Jonathan Durham, and yes, Kim Murphy, and yes, the McCutcheon family law, and yes, not disclosing the information on my mother and her spouse, and that I am now alone in this property, taken as hostage because I don't have any other viable options where to go or where to buy another property. And I am being denied credit, 